Welcome back. Well, today I am joined by Dr. William Tidwell, who is with the Golden Coast Dermatology Skin Cancer and Vein Center, and it is a new practice here in Mission Viejo, so it's very close to us. Dr. Tidwell, thank you for joining me. How are you doing? Thank you. Good morning. Great to be here. Great to have you. And, and you know, it's always interesting to know about new practices because, you know, you, you, you hear about a lot of different centers opening up, but you wonder how that's going because of COVID-19. So we'll jump into that in just a little bit, but tell me a little bit about yourself and your background and how you got started here. Sure. Well, uh, we opened up our practice a few months ago and that I am a Mohs surgeon, which is a dermatologist who did special training just in skin cancer. I trained at the Scripps Clinic in La Jolla, California, not too far from here. Uh, down in San Diego, I met my wife, who is also a doctor. She's a psychologist. And uh, at Scripps Clinic, I was really fortunate enough to be trained by a gentleman, Dr. Greenway, who was trained by Dr. Mose himself. So that uh, is really helpful for our practice. Our focus is on skin cancer. After graduating from San Diego, my wife and I got married. Uh, I carried her back to my home. You can probably hear from my drawl that I'm from the South. And uh, we were there for a little while, but we got, we we're starting to get planning our family and just uh, miss California a lot. So we moved back here and are open up our practice and uh, hopefully have some kids along the way here soon. Well, that's, that's great that you uh, both are doctors. So I'm sure you have some interesting stories that you exchange here and there. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course, most surgery is a really big deal right now, primarily because most of us are older. We've done all the damage we could possibly do to our skin early on. Uh, when we really didn't use very much sunscreen. I myself have had most surgery, as, as I'm sure many of our residents have as well. What do you think is, uh, you know, some of the problems that you're going to start seeing here over the course of time? Sure. Well, the skin, care, skin cancer epidemic is growing. A lot of people think it is just senior citizens, which of course they're at risk, but it's everyone. They actually one in five Americans will develop skin cancer before the age of 70. And that just continues to grow. I know a lot of people, like you were saying back uh, several years ago, there was no sunscreen. It was just baby oil and iodine and just go out there with the mirror and get a nice tan, try and look like Coco Chanel. Uh, but now we're finding out that that causes premature aging. It causes different skin cancers. It causes a lot of problems. So I talk to my patients about getting a sun, uh, sunscreen, what to do. But being reasonable about it, you know, we all want to go out. We're in California. We want to go out and enjoy life. People golf, tennis, and that's that's okay. But do it smart. And the main thing I try and tell our patients is don't get a burn. If you want to go out, play golf, go to the beach, put some sunscreen on, try and get a hat, enjoy life, but don't get burned. And if you can just live by that simple process of doing the best you can and try not to get a burn that really will keep most people out of trouble. Okay, so let me ask you something regarding burning. Uh, let's say uh, you do burn and then you peel and then maybe that was the last time that you actually let that happen. Can it just be a one-time thing? It can, unfortunately. So it goes into the different types of skin cancer that there's basal cell carcinoma, which is the most common. And that's as a oversimplification based on the number of sunburns you've had. And unfortunately, La Jolla actually treated a patient as young as 13. He was a young guy, played baseball a lot, was a surfer, had just had a lot of sunburns. And as a 13-year-old, he developed a basal cell carcinoma in his forehead. Simple enough, he did everything he was supposed to. He had the Mohs, got in early, we treated it while it was small, no big deal. And that's the thing to avoid is waiting. Uh, also, briefly talking about squamous cell carcinoma, number two. That's based on how long the clock has ran. How long have you been in the sun? How mm -hmm. much exposure you had over your life? Often starts as these little actinic keratoses or sunspots. Anyone who's been to the dermatologist knows we freeze those off. It's like pulling weeds in a garden, getting little spots before they become big spots. And those would develop into the squamous cell. And lastly, melanoma, the rounding up the top three. It's the most deadly of the top three. Uh, if we get early, early prevention is really, really important for all of them, but especially melanoma before it has a chance to go somewhere else or do something else like metastasize. 
and it can happen to anyone. It's not just the sun exposed areas. Bob Marley died of a melanoma on his foot. Uh, just no one ever looked. So melanoma is a mix of sun, of age, genetics, how many moles you have, bad luck. And it's just important. So if anyone listening, Dean, right now remembers one thing, it's don't wait. If you see something growing, changing, give us a call. There's a, a lot of great dermatologists in the area. We'd be happy to have you as a, practice, as a patient in our practice. Uh, but please get in and see someone. Don't wait. Okay, that's, that's really good advice because I had waited and somebody said to me, because you know, that doesn't look right. You should have that checked. And I, it, they just kept bothering me about it. And finally I did and, I, and exactly that, I ended up having it removed. And so you do have to be very careful and not let things go. And, and that kind of leads me into my next uh, question is that many people have been frightened out of their mind to go to a doctor uh, during our COVID-19. Can you share with us some things that you guys have done to prepare for that? Sure, we take it very seriously. Uh, we actually have taken it so seriously, we have a video on our website that goes step by step to detail every step that we're taking. But in summary, of course, it starts off with everybody wearing a mask, taking temperatures. We have the benefit of having a lot of rooms here. So what makes us unique is we have private writing rooms. We're a paperless office. You don't have to touch those pens, sign the documents. We have iPads that are wiped off with the very strong sterilizer cavity wipes. So you come in, you get seated directly in your room. You just have you and your nurse. Everyone has their temperature taken. You don't have to wait in a car or be called while you wait somewhere. You come in, go to your room, don't touch paper, and we have your experience. We also have limited hours or for uh, limited patients rather. So we never, there's not a giant crowded waiting room. And we can also accommodate for people particularly worried uh, just special high risk clinics where people just come in, we can have it set up or during lunch or a little early, a little, little evening, and we can work with people. So we're, we're open, um, we're taking it very seriously, and we're here to make your experience safe and enjoyable. That's great. Now you did mention that you have a video on your website. What is the website address? Sure, it's easy. It's our name. It's goldencoastdermatology.com. And we have various videos talking about skin cancer, Mohs, but particularly, as you were saying, all of the safety precautions so that you feel safe and know what we're doing before you even come. I think that's smart. That's a good job that you did that because I don't know how many people have actually said, okay, this is what we've done without reading it. And many people just like to see the video rather than read it. So that was a great idea. Yeah. Uh, health insurance. So do you take all health insurances? We do. We're taking all major plans. Uh, including Medicare. Now, if someone's on an HMO, we are a specialist, so you will need a referral from your primary care doctor, but that's easy. It's a phone call, and we can help arrange that and work with that. So uh, we're passionate about getting people better, we're passionate about taking care of skin cancer, and we'll work with your insurance. We'll work to get you a referral letter. We just want to get you better. That's, that's excellent. Thank you. And then let's talk about self-screening because uh, you know, like I said before, we just sort of ignore things. So is there, is there something we should do on a regular basis? Sure. Well, just take a look at your skin. It, the, there's a simple thing, the A, B, C, D, E's of melanoma, which people probably heard, but briefly it's A, asymmetry, B, border regularity, C, color change, D, diameter bigger than a pencil head, and E, enlarging. If you remember one thing, it's the enlarging is what study shows the most important. If something is new, changing, doesn't look like the rest of your body, don't wait, get in and get called. Uh, if you were here in clinic, we have a special light called a dermoscopy. This is polarized light, and we look over every single spot in your skin. It turns on and has a microscope in there, so we're able to, and it saves a lot of biopsies. We don't need a biopsy. You don't want one unless you have to. And this is a really neat tool that separates a visit your annual or sometimes people have skin cancer every six months, we look you over with this. This is called dermoscopy and it's really kind of been changed the field of dermatology the past five years. Oh, I was gonna just say, how long has that been around? You just answered that. That is really good. Yeah, I mean, it's great it, because it, then you also are, people aren't fearful either because you can tell them right then and there. Right there, it, it's, it's not perfect. We Sometimes we still have to do a biopsy, but this has really cut down on the amount of procedures that we have to do. and. It's uh, able to just look over and let you know right then what we think. So I love this, my right hand tool. Use it all the time. Oh, I, I think I need to come in and have you use that. And maybe we'll, maybe we'll shoot that with a camera. 
yeah, we'll do another Very one. interesting because you know you do you are required. Well, they recommend anyway that you go as often as you can, maybe twice a year or once a year. Once you have had something removed, it's best to make sure you get checked. So that's a really great uh, great tool to have. Uh, any last things you'd like to tell us? Sure. Uh, people like who are worried about a spot, I would just say don't wait. There are a lot of great treatments out there for skin cancer. I'm a most surgeon. Most surgery has the highest cure rate, 99.9% .9 effective, and also has the smallest hole that needs stitches. So if you're listening, there's a spot that you're worried about, not sure about, don't wait. Please give us a call or go to our website. We'll be happy to take care of you and get you in quickly to make sure you're cancer free and can go enjoy life in the sun moderately. In the sun as much as we love it here in California, <laughs> that's for sure. And, you know, we, we do it a lot. Well, Dr. Tidwell, thank you so much for taking the time. I appreciate it and welcome to Orange County. Sure, thank you. Have a good day. All right. And we'll be right back after this.